Uh, the soldier comes by in a, in a Humvee, you know, and he, he's like, hey, are you the chaplain? I said, yes. He said, are you a priest? I said, yes. He said, hey, I'm over here collecting mail for my unit, for my guys. We're in a really small fob down the road. And uh, I want you to come with me over there. I'm like, well, how are we going to get there? He's like, well, I, I, want, I got room in the back of my vehicle. I said, you want me to go in the vehicle? We're going to like do a, a ground movement, which back then was extremely dangerous, you know. He said, yeah. I said, uh, I don't know. He said, uh, look, at, we haven't, there hasn't been a chaplain over there in, in, again, quite a while. I said, all right. So anyway, I jumped in and went with him over to this smaller fob, which, I mean, I'm talking about 20, 30 guys. So I'm over there and I did mass again, you know, and uh, counseled some folks and heard some confessions and uh, did my thing. And I pre there was probably about five or six guys that came to mass at that smaller location. So when it was time for me to leave, every single soldier on that fob, all right, came, dropped whatever they were doing at one point or another, came over and shook my hand and thanked me. Mm. They thanked me for coming there. By the time I, by the time I was shaking the, the last hand, I was doing everything in my control to keep back from crying. I, I was so moved. I, it was just powerful. If anybody ever says to me after that point that, you know, young people in our country have lost their faith or don't believe in anything, I will, I will beg to differ with them. 